Just when you thought you've heard it all up to this point, nope. There's more stupidity where that came from. Okay, how many genders are there? Many. It's actually like quantifiable. Well, how about a number? So quantifiable, good. No, it's so many because. Give me a number, that, any number. Okay, well, the way the data breaks down, so this is why you don't understand it. Number. There's so many. The way that the. So many. Not so many genders. Like, chromosomes actually break down with intersex genders and the way that it actually happens. That is the starting point that you learn in like fifth grade. But when you actually do like experiments, you learn that the way that data breaks down. When it comes to Can you give me a number genders. or not? Number? She can't. Number? You have two. That's sixth grade science. When you move on, there are hundreds so, of different categories. So what you, categories so what you learn in sixth grade becomes less true as you get older? That's, That's just gravity facts. Becomes less true. That is a basic building <laughs> block Newton's third law becomes less true. In order to understand the concept of gender, when you break it down into actual gender experiments and sex when it comes are directly to chromosomes related. and sex, <laughs> it breaks down into hundreds of different categories that actually differentiate between just two genders. What you're saying is there are facts and you don't believe in there being a Yes, I am saying that there are this facts. This is a scientific fact that you, if you talk to any biologist, will learn. So in biology, they teach you, you that there's XX and XY chromosomes. Not so give me a number of how many genders there are. There hundreds, are. many. It unlimited, months. right? It breaks so down I, it's so anything you categories. want to be, anything you feel. No, it's what scientists determine given specific X, categories. X, X, Y. Why do you need a number if you're Bingo. Already Why do you need a number? That's a great question. You literally have no idea how it works. You're because then you could self-identify to be anything you want at any time. Literally, biologists are saying that this oh, is the way so the gender actually breaks so, so, down. So you're, you would accept the argument that you can self-identify to be anything at any time? Yes, because literally okay. biologists that, are That's what's that wrong gender. with not having a number. There are hundreds of different numbers. So hundreds why not? of different ways of gender and So like right I now. said earlier, I could be a bobcat. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> She's such a genius. There are hundreds of different numbers. Well, you don't you don't say. But there's not hundreds of different genders or sexes. There's two. There's male. There's female. <laughs> you learned that in sixth grade. So did it just become obsolete all of a sudden because we're living in this woke society that denies the truth, that wants to live in this fairy tale facade of a reality? <laughs> I guess I don't follow. I guess I'm just not intelligent enough. IQ score is is minimal because if this is what amounts to being in the know, informed, and, and brilliant, I don't want no part of it. <laughs> there are hundreds of different numbers. So hundreds not, of different ways of gender. And so sex like right I now. said earlier, I could be a bobcat, I could be a fox, I could be a snake. Literally not even the case. I could be anything. literally. No, you are literally saying <laughs> that so people not the actual X, 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 Y, two genders, two sexes. They're directly you're related. You're just repeating words over and over again. Because it's true, and you're not disproving it. I am. You're not latching wow. on. Argument, like, like seriously, there's nothing there. No, I know, but it's more. She keeps interrupting. It's good. I like it. But she doesn't like my face. So and say these things more than I think I'm going to convince him. I hear you. I hear you, idiots. I think it's mainly to just have an air of like, Where if you're going to come in here, you're going to be uncomfortable. You're going to have to put up again. Fine, but you're not doing. You're really quoting like super basic shitty science that is just meant to teach. But okay. You're just quoting super basic crappy science because my science has evolved into this next level science that now the old one is we have no use for it. So we're on to this next one. I thought science was about the, the accurate analytics, the facts, what you could prove. It's proven that there's only X, 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 Y. It, that's what it is. And <laughs> what do you got for us? I haven't heard anything. Literally, literally, literally. That's all she says when she can't give us an actual breakdown and explanation to back up the point she's trying to make. Because it doesn't exist. It's, it's uh, ridiculous. That's what it is. I feel like I'm getting dumber. Science that is just meant to teach But, okay. So, but again, you don't have a number. I just want to recap. Hundreds. There's hundreds. hundreds of different so where would you put it? Okay, so the data breaks down in two very simple predominant categories, XX and XY, and that's... No. no? No. Oh, so there's not male and female. I mean, to a certain degree, but there are different ways that that breaks down. When you actually get into sex and gender and X and Y chromosomes, it doesn't just break down in a way. There's many different ways. And how would you break... How would you categorize society then? Do you think men and women well, are categorically different? I would go by specific different? scientific criteria and then go off of what that study and that information actually says. You see, that information breaks down into much more difficult and complex things than you can just say in five seconds with two different genders. You, I think what happens is you don't understand science and scientific Oh, I don't. Backing, oh, okay. So, so, and you just want to so, so put I can, forth this so like, I, fascist so, simple. Oh, fascist you know, simple. Here we go. That's, that's, that's interesting. That, that will keep you... So, so what is fascist about saying there's two genders? 
is you're just being completely not faithful to what actual science is telling you. No, you science is quite simple. That there's an oppressive narrative. Oh, oppressive. How you think so that now I'm oppressive. Complete. How am I being oppressive? This is that it's the truth comes out eventually. So how am I being yeah, oppressive? Yeah, you're being oppressive. How am I being oppressive? You're being oppressive by denying people the ability to have. How have I denied identity. anyone anything? Okay, denying people identity. People can identify identity. however they want. I'm only going to use two genders. That's the way that was. Eventually, you're the you're problem, and you're going to get pushed out of the way. Anyone who does not identify by like a <coughs> female or male, you can identify them as an animal. You were saying no, that no, I haven't said that. You could identify yourself. I think as history a has sort of proven where your type of people are. No, I asked if I could be a bobcat, yeah, and somebody right. said That's yes earlier, and you said no. You're a bobcat. I'm a bobcat. I can be whatever I want to be. I could be a tree. I could be an 85-year-old person. Why not? All right. I'm late to class. Have fun, bobcat. Okay. What's wrong with you people? I just want to be like a seven foot tall Asian woman that, you know, participates in women's sports out here dunking on them. That's what I want to be. Is that, is that okay? Is that possible? <laughs> oh, my God goodness these people i don't know if it's just me but they always look exactly like they sound that young lady hair chopped off just irrational talking about charlie's not faithful to science well, you're not faithful to reality you're clearly not faithful to god almighty to righteousness to truth the only truth from the, the same yesterday today and forever clearly you don't want no part of that you just want to create your own little existence but <laughs> and then when people don't get along with it she says we're the problem and and we'll just push you out of the way oh really now will you <laughs> Hmm. Well, that that pretty much sums up their strategy, don't it? They'll just push you out of the way. If you don't conform to this ideology of their delusional thinking, they'll try to cancel you or smear your name and they'll dig up things that you were falsely accused of 30 years ago and try to use that as ammo to just try to wipe you off the face of the earth. That's their their get their game plan. That's the agenda at all times. And isn't it ironic, though, that they have the nerve to call other people like Charlie Kirk or myself or many other conservatives out here pointing out the facts? They call us the fascists. Ain't that something? You know, I've come to the conclusion that it is darn near impossible to win a debate against people like this because they don't live in reality. Their whole argument is based on their truth. And because they say it's true, it has to be true. And it's based on absolutely zero logic, zero connected brainstem sort of thinking and reasoning. They just say, because this is what I think, you have to go along with it. To me, that's insanity. And I'm not going to go along with it. Don't tell me that I have to accept you for who you are when you don't even accept yourself for who you'll always be. You can't change it. You can masquerade. You can dress up. You can chop off and swap out and, and do whatever you think that is in your best interest. But in the end, you still are what you were born as, male or female, the way God beautifully knitted you together in your mother's womb. And he don't make mistakes. You could argue about it. You can get upset about it all you want. But as my man Ben Shapiro would say, facts don't care about your feelings. And in this cattywampus sort of society that we live in, these people's brains, everything is centered around their truth and their feelings. And, and this young girl completely took to heart what her mommy probably told her as a kid that she could be whatever she wanted when she grew up. And a lot of parents said that, like her mom probably did, expecting that, you know, some common sense might kick in. But Clearly, these folks have missed the boat on that context of the message, and they still haven't grown up, and they still haven't applied themselves into the world that actually is all around them. But they need a wake-up call. They need a swift kick in the butt because at some point, life is going to drop them on their face, and that might be exactly what they need. When you boil it all down to the simplest form and just try to make it make sense why these people choose to do these crazy things that we see flooding our streets today in society, it really all is a big facade of avoidance. And they want to avoid having to take responsibility for their sin. And we've all participated in lawless behaviors at some point or another that, that God doesn't condone. We're a fallen human race. And that's where repentance for those decisions comes in, though. And I love these people. I pray for them, but we can't continue to affirm. And I, I never started, but people cannot continue to go along and affirm these lies and, and just allow people to cruise along through life unchecked, unscathed, without knowing what truth is and knowing that there's a way in which we're supposed to live. And there's a way God designed things to go. And if you deviate outside of that, things get wonky real fast. Things get dark. And when you wage these sins continuously without reaching repentance, 
it will wind up in death. So when I say I love these people, don't get it twisted with the same kind of love that's in this LGBTQIA plus community, this pride facade and the hijacking of the rainbow that they've tried to do. That rainbow ain't theirs. That rainbow does not mean what they think it means. And it's just all the way wonky. They say they love people, but they only love condoning sin and, and lawless behavior that's going to wind these people up in the fiery furnace and a whole lot of gnashing of teeth. That's not real love. That's just a illicit behavior and allowing people to do what they want and, and lean into their lustful, pervasive desires unchecked. Real love means you tell the people that you say you love, you tell them the truth, and you want to see them come over from that wide path that's leading to destruction onto that narrow path that leads to eternal life, which can only be found through Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, the life. And when you say you love somebody, you tell them the blunt, cold hard truth no matter how much it may sting their ego you don't care because you care about them that much that you don't want to see them perish that's what it really comes down to so I think it's crazy when people say they love people and say they care about human beings but then you you just you know don't mention a word to them when you see them out here acting a fool and, and openly promoting uh this rebellion to God and rebellion to what the truth always will be it just don't make no sense and it's even crazier that this young woman actually believes the things that she's saying. And, and even more horrifying than that is it's these same kind of mentally unstable people that are able to drive cars and, and vote and have kids. Just let that sink in. These people are in charge or not in charge, but they go along with the democratic society that we have set up and, and they can, you know, uh, determine outcomes that happen and have a place in society in this current state that they're in. That's just all over, just falling by the wayside, feelings fleeting, Wake up one day feeling like a man, a woman, a, a hundred plus different genders, just all sorts of craziness. And these they teach this hot garbage to our kids now in school curriculums. And even people are running Fortune 500 companies that think like this. And it's absolutely insane how much brainwashing and denial of the truth is going on. It has to stop. When I see people talking about all this gender fluidity nonsense and unlimited sexes on a spectrum, I cringe because these people are literally trying to take on the role of God, which can't be done by any of us, no matter how smart you may think you are, no matter how great you think that your existence is, you ain't God. You never will be. None of us will be. We can't even begin to fathom half of all the knowledge of everything. So flush that fluid right down the drain where it belongs and face reality like we all have to at some point in life. It's better now than later. I can promise you that. So God bless Charlie and his crew for going up in these lion's dens and exposing these people to logic, even if it doesn't stick, even if it doesn't start to sink in. We got to keep trying and hopefully someday we get through to them. But in the meantime, me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to keep on dishing out biblical soul food like I'm about to do so that no matter what's going on in society, we can always keep our minds aligned with righteousness and, and keep our eyes fixed on the kingdom. That's what we do over here. And I encourage that you do the same. Keep on doing what you know is the right things to do. And Proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 19 verse 21 says, many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. And then finally, Matthew 6 verse 33, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Amen. So keep getting up each and every single day and to the best of your ability, be salt of the earth. And when you see evil rear its wicked head, say, get behind me, Satan. We don't got time for it. And we are not letting these radical secularists get away with promoting evil is good and good is evil. North is not South and South is not North. It is not what these people try to perceive or, or deceive people into believing. God is great all the time. And no matter how slick these people think that they are, he always wins. So what do y'all think about all this? I would love to hear it down below. Let me know in the comments section. Let's keep this conversation rolling. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. If you like what I'm doing over here and you want to show a little extra love and support, make sure you go check out our website down below in the description section. That way you can get all the awesome shirts you see me wearing in every single video. They're all made by my beautiful wife. This one says created with a purpose. It has it on the chest and on the sleeve. It's based on Ephesians 2 verse 10. I like mine a little baggy so it 
it seems a little extra room to move and groove, but we got all different sizes ranging from itty bitty extra small to big, big and hefty 5X, a bunch of colors, different designs, all of that. I'm sure you could find something that you like or a great gift for someone that you love. Outside of that, you can always join the Gibson family here on YouTube and become a member. You can buy me a coffee. You can join the Patreon family. All those links are down below as well. By no means do you have to do any of that. Just showing up and allowing my freckle face to rant at you for a few minutes. I am greatly appreciative. I love y'all. I cannot thank you enough. Until next time, I'll be praying for you. Godspeed. I'm gone.